Okay. Hold the cube. Okay, let me bring this up. Hold the cube where the. I'm gonna get the computer. Well, okay, hold on. Okay. Hold the cube so this blue and yellow and that yellow and blue are completely opposite to the red and yellow and that that red and yellow because you need that flipped over here you need that flipped over here so what you're gonna need to do is this hold these two like that this Let me bring this back out and use this algorithm to do this okay left inverted yeah hold these three hold this to do left inverted up two left inverted up two front two left inverted front two right up two right inverted up two left inverted two two okay see what you did you just flipped see you flipped on the on on the orange and yellow side, you flip these two right here, and you flip those two blue over here. Okay. Next, you're going to need to flip this little piece right here over to that side with that blue flipped over here. So let's do that. Hold, the, Make sure that they're two opposite like that. And use this algorithm. Use left inverted, up, two. Left inverted, up, two front two left inverted front two right up two right inverted up two left inverted two two okay you can see that these that three is in the correct place that blue's flipped that piece is not in the correct place flip it over these three are in the correct place that piece is not in the correct place but in that piece is that piece that piece in the correct place not what's well, not flipped correctly, but that piece is not in the correct place. Hold it. See how you need to flip these two. Now instead of holding these two and doing the that algorithm I told you, hold these two. Just these right here, these little two, not the three, these two. And use this algorithm. Make sure that they're completely opposite. And use this. Same as the five by five. Left inverted, up, two. Left inverted, up, two. Front, two. Left inverted, front, two. Right, up, two. Right inverted, up, two. Left inverted, two, two. Okay, so now you have these three in the correct place. These two are in the correct place, but not flipped correctly. These three are in the correct place, but these two aren't cor uh, flipped correctly. Okay? Now you're going to need to use this other algorithm. This one is the hardest algorithm for me to remember, but I finally took the time to learn it. Now I know it. Okay, to f it's just like exactly like the 5x5. Five five. You need to flip these two pieces. So we're just going to start with this one first. We're only going to hold these two. These two right here. If it were to, if it were to look like uh, this, uh, where it would be, that one's flipped. The center piece is flipped backwards. Then you would hold two of them, and do this algorithm. So I'll just show you that period of case in a minute. So right now, just hold these two and do this algorithm. Only these two. Okay. Do it step by step with me. Do right. 2, 2, so take this, do twice, do B2, B2, up 2, left, up 2, uh, right inverted, up 2, right, up 2, front 2, right, front two right front two left inverted b two 
then the right two two. You just finished that little bar right there. Hold on. You just finished that little bar right there. And you are completely done with that bar. You now flip it over and do that same algorithm right here. I'm going to show it a little bit closer this time. Okay, do it like this. Right two. B two. Up two. Left inverted, left, not left inverted, left. Up to, right inverted, up to, right, up to, front to, right, front to, left inverted, B2, right, 2-2. Two, two. And there you go, you have just solved that edge. Now, if you did that correctly, every single edge is should be complete. Uh, after we get done solving, I'll show you another situation like I just showed you. Okay, so you just solved every single edge. Now it's time to solve it like a 3x3. Three three. Some people don't know how to solve it like a 3x3, three three, so I'm just going to show you it really fast, how, to, how I solve it like a 3x3. Three three. Okay, let me bring it out like this. Okay. I'm going to flip it like that. I, I solved the green side first. So now I have that green piece like that. It's connected to the black. Um, I would then flip it like that. Where that orange is connected to the green. That black is connected to the green. And now I would do this one. Bring that up. Bring that over here. See that red's connected to the green, that black's connected to the green, that orange is connected to the green. Okay. Now it's time to connect this one. I mean the yellow connect. We would do this. Okay. You got the green top solved. The yellow's connected to it, the red's connected to it, the black's connected to it, and the orange is connected to it, the blue's on the bottom. Time to solve the little corners. Uh, go watch my 3x3 tutorial if you don't know how to solve a 3x3. Solve that corner right there. Ah. Solve that like that. Bring that way over here. Bring that up. Bring this over. Bring that over. Bring that up. You just solve the entire grid inside. You flip it over to so the greens on the bottom. Bring that up. My fastest time solving this is 32 minutes. I know it's not that fast, but it's fast for me. And I didn't see, I saw tutorials on this, but I never, no one ever like completely finished the tutorial. So I decided I should just do one where I finish the tutorial. Okay, got all the bottom layers uh, finished. Now we're gonna have to solve it like this. Okay, hold it like that. Well, we need to hurry up on this one. Ten minute rule on YouTube. I don't like it. 